And welcome. We still have a few seconds officially, but wanted to go ahead and get that record going. Welcome, everybody. Uh, so let's just start in a butterfly. We'll bring the bottoms of the feet together. Yeah, yeah. We get to put ornaments up high or put a gate around um, the tree for, for babies. My friend has a baby and she wrapped all the presents so pretty. And the baby kept trying to, I mean, the baby, and he's like nine months old. So he moves and he was trying to get the presents and he's scared of this one little toy they have. It's like this little worm toy. <laughs> so she put the worm toy right in front of the tree, in front of the presents. He won't go anywhere near it now. <laughs> that works too. Ah, uh, uh, so just start here with this butterfly stretch. Now you can be seated up a little bit taller if you like. You can even press into your inner thighs. I like to walk my hands forward and take a little forward fold. Welcome everyone. So good to see you all. It's just, it's so hard to believe that it's Christmas in a couple of days. It is about 70 here today, but it is going to be about high 80s on Christmas day. <laughs> so I'm having a hard time like wrapping my head around. I mean, I live in Texas. It's never like super cold on Christmas, but like it's going to be really warm <laughs> for Christmas. So I'm like, should we be getting sweaters or bathing suits? <laughs> nice. And gently bring yourself up. We're going to come into the pigeon stretch. If you don't like pigeon, you can always take four stretch. So right ankle over the left, left quad. And you can do that seated or lying down. Or in pigeon, right? We'll work our right shin across the front of our mat. Reach our left leg long and then ease our way down, getting into the hip. So both any, both directions are gonna get into the hip. I just like to change it up from time to time. So those of you that just came in, if you can hear my dogs barking, they love to be in our backyard and that's where they were, but um, a guy came to test the pool or something. So I had to put him on our front patio and it's right by where I'm teaching. <laughs> They're barking. They, they live in the house too. I mean, they don't stay outside all the time. They really, really love to be in the backyard because they love to run around and play. They don't love to be on the patio, um, which is where I put them because it's so nice outside right now. Like, I'm getting the sun. <laughs> they don't have all the space to run around in. So They're not real happy with me. I'm like, it's 15 minutes. You can handle it, right? My spoiled dogs. Nice. Few more breaths here. Kind of pulling up and off of your right hip. Stretch right into it. Lightly flexing your right foot. We don't want to overpoint it here. Flex. This bothers your knee at all. Four stretch. Couple of more breaths. Release our hip. Welcome, everyone. Still coming in. Good to see you all. And we're going to come into getting our quad stretched. So our left quad. So you can lift up into your pigeon, bend the knee, right? You could just stay here with bent knee. You could reach and gently pull it in. You can also come onto your right side. And so it feels better to come onto your right side to do the stretch. Whatever feels best to you. And a couple of announcements. We are into our signature connect and our connect rates at kind of an additional, um, just taking, taking VFIT to a different level. Kind of each week we offer some connect um, meetings where we can talk. We'll be doing Manifest Mondays once a month, um, a workshop once a month. And then if you do the signature connect, then you get once a month, well, depending on which level, there's some different levels, but you get the option to work with a one-on-one -on -one trainer. So do you want to let everybody know that we have that? You, it's not going to take away. You're still going to get all your amazing uh, VFIT classes, even if you don't join that. 
but it is just a way to take take our connections right that's why we call it connect take our connections a little bit deeper it's super awesome the the first couple of meetings have been fabulous i'm looking forward to different trainers are going to be leading um, workshops once a month on all different kinds of things. I'm going to be talking about the lymphatic system and how to keep it healthy. Um, I'm, I'm sure Lauren's here. She's probably going to do something nutrition related. Um, so super awesome. Just some additions if you're interested in that. And if you haven't heard of it, reach out to one of his trainers. We will get you set up. From here, let's release that leg. We're going to come into a seated position. Take a long lengthen legs out in front of us. We'll get the other side in a moment. Take a forward fold, walk your hands forward, and then we'll get pigeon and our quad stretch on the other side in a minute. New Year's Eve party coming up 8 to 10.30 Pacific Standard Time. Um, most trainers will be there. I'm not 100% I'm not sure if everyone will be, but most of us will be there leading little sessions that is up on mind body so feel free to go ahead and sign up for that if you are interested and then otherwise we have classes every day except christmas day and then there may be you know a class here or there that's canceled but for the most part everything is open for business so why wait till the new year right set your resolutions right now more breaths so it's my daughter's dog that's barking and whining i laugh because i'm like he's such a diva he's so spoiled and so he's here visiting with my daughter but she's not home right now he doesn't like to be outside he likes to only be inside <laughs> and i put him on the patio it's gorgeous i'm like y'all need some sunshine you need some air he wants to go inside and curl up under the blanket. And come on up. We'll take our pigeon through the other leg. So either a left, if you want to take that seated four stretch, or bringing the left shin across the mat, lifting up off the left hip. You can stay lifted and come down to your forearms. And then, of course, you can take four stretch seated or on your back if you prefer. Uh, getting into the hip the glute. Feel free to move around a little bit. Look for that just right spot. A few more breaths here. And then we'll rise up. This is where we can bend the right knee. You can pull it in. You can come onto your left side and take the quad stretch there. Two more breaths. I'm just gonna take these stretches for maybe a minute, give or take a little. And release. So just lengthen your legs out long for whew, a second, shake them around, side to side. Nice. 
So we're getting a little into our arms, our upper body. So you can stand, you can kneel, you can sit in a chair. Let's bring our right arm up, reach it down, pat yourself on the back. And then you can use your left arm to kind of assist. A tricep stretch. My ponytail's in the way. <laughs> uh. Think about pulling the elbow back a little. Deepens the stretch. And then we'll release the right hand, reach it out to the side and pull the right ear away from the right shoulder. The neck. So if you're using your left hand, use it from the back of your head so you're not tempted to really pull down. We're kind of pulling away. And maybe rotate your right thumb up. Just pull your arm back just a little. Let's stretch, come all right through here. And then we'll release the neck. We'll bring the right arm across the chest. Drop the shoulder blade down, give it a little tug. Maybe just move your head around, release any tension in the neck. And release, kind of shake your right arm out. Looks so good. We'll take that through the left side. So if you need to make any posture changes, right? Any, any wiggling, go for it. And then we'll bring the left arm up, pat yourself on the back, reach and pull in. Try to bring your gaze forward. Drop your left shoulder down away from the ear a little. Just think about pulling your elbow behind you just slightly, right? You're just kind of looking for that perfect stretch. And then we'll reach the left arm out, guide the left ear away from the shoulder. And then maybe rotate the left thumb up, pull the left arm back just a little. Try to relax through your lower body. And as we bring the head up, we'll bring the left arm over, drop the shoulder, give a little tug. And then again, maybe move through your neck. more breaths. And release, I'll shake it out. Don't come into some cat cows. You can always do these seated if you like, or you can always do cat cows right here. Or coming forward on hands and knees. Inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round. And then of course, feel free, just pause in either of these positions that you like. Final minute. And just get some gentle movement through the spine. 
feels good to stop and hold in one of the positions for a few breaths. It might feel good to just kind of swivel, shake your hips side to side a little. Uh, so just let yourself explore what feels good to you here in these last few moments of stretching. And of course, I invite you, if you've got a few more minutes in your day, my friends, maybe just sitting quietly, maybe lying down, giving yourself a little bit of a Shavasana. Oh, awesome, Linda. I'm glad those stretches were exactly, exactly what you needed today. Thank you all so much, my friends, for joining me. I will see you back tomorrow morning. Have a great day.